And we know that getting kids to class is just half the battle, but it's also about paying attention. Most of that focus has been on cell phones over the years as being a distraction. But thousands of superintendents and educators now see cell phones as the technology that could help them in teaching in the classroom. Seven Action News reporter Simon Shaykat shows us how both students and educators feel about introducing cell phones as a way of learning. As students prepare to head back to school across Metro Detroit, they tell us they've already picked up the latest cell phones and school districts at the same time have updated their policies. Why did you choose the iPhone 13? Calling, texting, you know, social media. For Crestwood High School student Muhammad Ali and many of his friends, returning to class brings excitement. He and his brother Fidal both own newer iPhones. They say prove useful in more ways than one. Forgot your laptop and you could use it. And if like there's an emergency or anything. Their teachers regularly set policy for what's allowed in class. Nearby in Detroit, 11th grader at Osborne High School, Jonathan Jackson also carries an iPhone he plans to use when his teachers assign group projects. In Detroit, phones are allowed, but the teacher has the final say on policy. How helpful is it to communicate with other students through the phone when you're studying together? iPhone 11, I've used it for like my work and stuff, like for reports or essay prompt. We're very comfortable with our kids, you know, communicating with their parents. Superintendent Dr. John Dean at Gross Point Public Schools tells us while elementary age kids are not encouraged to bring a cell phone, middle and high school age students can use them also at the discretion of a teacher. You can do different things with, you know, instant polling on a phone where students would put something, you know, or screen sharing. In Novi, much thought is also given to teaching students about using technology responsibly. The superintendent referencing this book that includes lessons about best practices. We have uh... Uh, a 5-6 building uh, and certainly elementary and below and then our 7-8 building where we do not allow cell phones during the school day. The kids are allowed to bring them, put them in their locker. 9 through 12, we encourage them to, uh, you know, use teacher discretion. Really, digital citizenship is, is about how we help kids learn how to consume it effectively. Like any gadget, phones can take attention away from studying. That lesson already on this student's mind before the first day of school. Are students sometimes using phones at the wrong time in school or not so much? Uh, the majority use it at the right time. From Gross Point to Novi to here in Dearborn Heights, students tell us they do recognize the fact that while the phone can be helpful in the classroom, they also recognize the importance of not allowing those phones to interfere with learning. From Dearborn Heights, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.